All right, friends, I'm here with Emily P. Freeman, one of my favorite authors, podcasters. We just finished doing an episode of That Sounds Fun together because we're announcing something. Emily, what are we announcing? We're announcing that I'm joining That Sounds Fun Network. <laughs> You're joining the network. I can, oh, look, mirror stuff. Three arms, it. three arms in the air, air about it. I'm so happy you're on the network with me. Teamwork, we've been dreaming of doing this for years. I'm, I'm just so thrilled. Thank you for trusting us and being a part of what, what we're getting to do. Me too, I'm so excited about it. I just love it. Um, okay, so here's the thing I'd love for us to talk about because we didn't have time to talk about it on the show. One of the things I trust about you most, one of the things I trust about you least is how you line all your books up by color. <laughs> What? How? Why? How do you know why where you are? How, how and why not? Them? I asked the same question about you. How can you find your books if they're not organized by color? See? By right. differently. <laughs> hey, what color is six? What? Isn't it you that has a color for every number? Oh, yeah. Six is green. Yeah. It's a whole thing. I know. <laughs> Pinkish red. What's Annie of Downs? Annie F. Downs is a yellowish color. Oh, okay. I know. It's nice. happy, happy color. Yeah, okay. Um, okay. So you line everything up by color. So that's what I trust about you, Lisa. What I trust about you most is what to read. So oh, it's good. summer reading time. Tell me what you're reading that you think we should pick up. Well, let me just tell you this first. I don't understand the difference between summer reading and just like regular reading. Well, so, for sure in 2020, isn't it all the same? <laughs> what is this life that we're living right now? I don't even know. Um, but I'll tell you what I'm reading this summer because it's almost summer and I'll tell you what I'm reading right now. Okay. And that is that number one, Wendell Berry's Hannah Coulter. Have you read it? I have, I'm embarrassed to say I've never read any of Wendell Berry and okay, everybody well, says I should. Well, he, it takes a bit to get into because he writes, I mean, it's so thoughtful and it's slow and it's story. Okay. And so I read Jaber Crow a couple of years ago and I, and it's like this thick, here's my very formal, but yeah. then H Hannah Coulter is much, is not quite as long, um, yeah, okay. but I've been looking forward to it and I've started it and I'm loving it and I'm, it's fiction. So I'm like, look at that. Look at me reading fiction. I'm going to do that. <laughs> It's been a, it's been a minute since I've read some yeah, fiction. Sure. So I'm excited about that. Okay. I'm also, I have one right next to me. This one is Brenda Ulan. If you want to write a book about art, independence, and spirit, I got it for $1.50 at yeah. the used bookstore. Yeah. But I always try, I put this in print, what? I'm crossing my fingers because I'm saying like I try it. In, in luck quotes. We call those luck quotes. <laughs> I try to read a book about, a book about writing, you know, because I'm uh -huh. a writer and I like to kind of have that, you know. So this is my one right now if you want to write, Brenda Ulan. All um, the time, do you have like a nonfiction, a fiction, and a writing book going? That is the, that's the dream life right there, Annie. You, okay. you just put that. You yeah, just luck quotes. It. Got it. Okay. <laughs> okay. What's your nonfiction? Do you have one going right now? You shared I one do. on Instagram recently. I have, I have a couple, but one that I have, I'm reading, I'm almost done with is Dallas Willard's Life Without Lack. It's um, about Psalm 23, yeah. which is like, I'm on a whole Psalm 23 kick right now. So yeah. I'm reading. Yeah, yeah. You did a whole episode of uh, the next right thing about Psalm 23. I sure did. It yep. was so good. Okay. So you're reading that. Great. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, perfect. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to think if there's, is there one book that like of all the books that you would tell people <laughs> all the books, what's the one book they should read? Oh like, no. Uh, by someone who's dead, by someone who's dead. Okay. Well, I'll tell you one of my favorite books. Oh, that's, you're hurting my feelings right I now. I know, I know. I'll you're tell you one that comes to mind. Great. And it's uh, Orthodoxy by G.K. Chesterton. Oh, I'm sorry. Good answer. Great answer. I went there because it's kind of like, what? But yeah. like, if you, it's like you read a paragraph and you're like, how is he so brilliant? Uh -huh. How is he so brilliant? And it's yeah. not very long either. Look, no. this is my very official <laughs> way of describing it. It's like yay. It's like yay long. It's not this, but it's this. It's not yeah. that. Yeah. <laughs> um, you're going to hate this question more. Everyone is picking up an Emily P. Freeman book this summer. Which one are they picking up? Oh, uh, I actually don't. The other question was much harder. Oh, good. Um, yeah. I would say, listen, the book to read this summer in this time is the next right thing. Yeah. Because what do we even know? Right? Like we know, <laughs> we don't know anything. We just need to right. know like, like our, our future, the, the, the look of the future is far and we just have to think about right now and which yeah. is the very next. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. 
Um, Emily, thanks for doing this. Thanks for joining the network. Everybody go listen to Emily's podcast, The Next Right Thing. Grab a copy of her book, The Next Right Thing, as well. All right. Love you, sister. You too.